Giannis is more than just dunks, MVPs, and championships. He's an addict. Ever since Giannis was a kid, he's had a secret addiction. And growing up poor, that's the last thing he should have spent money on. But Giannis couldn't resist. So he dedicated everything to basketball, hoping he'd eventually make enough money to satisfy his urges. And well, recently the world found out about his Oreo addiction? When I came to the league, that was the first thing I ate because like when I was younger, I was always craving them and you know, I could never afford them, you know? So I was like, okay, when I get a little bit of money, you know, people go spend money in cars and chains. I went and bought Oreos, right? I ate them for like a month straight. No dinner, no lunch, no nothing. Yeah. Imagine eating Oreos every meal for an entire month. How is dude even built like this? Well, that's just one of the 10 craziest stories of Giannis' life. Million dollar scandals, being forced out the country, a Bucks fan saving his life. But before we get to those, you'd think his physique got him nicknamed the free, but he actually got the nickname from something disgusting. On Valentine's Day, Giannis went live on Instagram to flex all the gifts his girl gave him. But there was one present she didn't want the world to see. And Giannis felt it was the perfect time to reveal what his nickname actually meant. She bought me this too. Oh! <laughs> yeah. The freak. Stop! What is wrong with you? He could be a freak on the court and on the shit, oh you know what I'm saying? Ah, now I see why Giannis' girl fell in love with him. Not only is he romantic, but he's also got the third largest hands in NBA history. And you know what they say, big hands, big gloves. <clears throat> Anyways, since Giannis Antetokounmpo Antetoku was just too hard for fans to pronounce, Greek Freak quickly caught on. But once Giannis got the name, it led to a $2 million scandal. A couple years ago, Giannis heard about a secret company called Fan Closet. And they weren't just a typical sports store selling merch. Their business was illegal. One day, Giannis came across some products online with his nickname that he never approved. And you know, with Giannis being such a nice guy, I mean, he tried to reason with the company and politely ask for the merch to be taken down. But these people were maniacs, so they didn't listen. Giannis called up his lawyer and broke down the situation. And that's when his lawyer told him, Listen Giannis, you can't just have people selling things with your name on it. If word gets out that you don't take legal action, it's only gonna happen more. Now, Giannis didn't know the situation was that deep. After all, suing this random company? Giannis already makes over $200 a second, so he didn't need any extra money. But his lawyer explained that suing them wasn't just about the cash. It was about setting an example. So they agreed on turning things into a legal battle. Giannis sued the company for selling low quality products using the Greek Freak nickname. And since that could trick customers into thinking they were buying trash merch directly from Giannis, it could cause irreparable damage to Giannis' brand. So right when a judge took a look at the case, the decision was easy. Giannis won the lawsuit and was awarded $2 million. And even though two mil may seem like a lot of money, it's nowhere near as valuable as Giannis himself. And that's why a stranger saved his life. At the time, Giannis was just a rookie, so he'd just gotten his first paycheck. And he sent almost every cent to his family overseas. But one day, at the worst possible time, he got an alert that he reached his spending limit. And well, it was game day. Giannis panicked. Not only was he penniless, he was stranded in the middle of nowhere in 18 degree weather. So he started running until, luckily, Giannis' biggest fan pulled up in her Honda Fit and offered him a ride. So Giannis squeezed his seven foot ass in the back seat and she floored it to the game. That fan literally saved this man's life. Do you realize how cold 18 degrees is? Giannis could have froze to death. And if Giannis didn't make it to that game, he might have never had the chance to become a star. Well, it's all good, because basketball wasn't even Giannis' dream job. In fact, he's actually planning on leaving the NBA. Growing up in Greece, Giannis had two idols, his dad and Thierry Henry. Both guys were soccer players and inspired Giannis to spend his childhood in the field rather than on the court. But when Giannis turned 13, his brother changed everything. 
At first, I did not want to play basketball. I wanted to be a soccer player just like my dad, but the Nazis wanted us to play basketball. And, uh, you know, I was probably like 12 years old and I wanted to spend time with the Nazis, so I was like, okay, I'll play basketball. Now, the Nazis may have convinced Giannis to pick up a basketball, but Giannis' love for soccer never left. And even making it to the NBA wasn't enough for him to give up his dream. At practices, Giannis was spotted playing two sports at once. And well, pro teams definitely noticed, because the Milwaukee Wave invited Giannis to be their halftime show. And in front of an entire stadium, he showed off his skills. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's got the skills. A few years later, Giannis went viral for playing soccer behind the scenes. So PSG invited Giannis to tour their stadium gave him his own PSG jersey, and Giannis let them know he was ready to join them whenever. And I could be a soccer player real easy. I got this, this is what I do. But I could be in this locker with Neymar and Mbappe, you know, just going out there and playing the Champions League. That's nothing for me, man. And lately, Giannis' love for soccer's gotten so out of hand, he even plays it in the middle of NBA games. But listen, now that we're getting into the top five stories of Giannis' career, let's take things to a whole new level. Like when Giannis almost got kicked off the Bucks by his own teammate. In 2013, the Bucks were forced to make huge changes. During the season, they were the eighth seed. And in the first round of the playoffs, they got completely swept. I mean, they didn't even have a single All-Star. So that offseason was about to decide their entire future. And with the 15th pick of the NBA draft, they did the unthinkable. The Bucks banked everything on a scrawny 18-year-old kid. It kind of seemed like the Bucks lost their mind. Because not only did they risk everything for what a kid could become, they also traded away their star player to bring in a six-point-per-game player, Chris Middleton. At the time, the Bucks imagined Giannis and Chris eventually becoming superstars. But first, they had to earn that spot. And since the two were so competitive, they started sabotaging each other. During practice and games, these guys would damn near fight. And at one point, Giannis admitted, I used to hate him. F this mother I'm gonna take his minutes. And how did Chris feel about this? Well, we hated each other because we were fighting for minutes. And I heard Giannis wasn't subscribed to Hoopflix. Don't be like Giannis, man, subscribe. Nah, but for real, all these battles were pushing each other to become great. But one slip up could cost either player a chance of becoming a starter, or even worse, get kicked out of basketball. Like the time Giannis got forced out of the NBA. In 2016, Giannis was finally becoming a basketball superstar and his brother Thanasis was also in the NBA. These two accomplished their dreams, but the entire time, they were breaking the law. And eventually, their past caught up with them. Out of nowhere, Giannis and Thanasis were forced out the United States back to Greece. Nobody understood what was going on, but it all had to do with the laws overseas. In Greek law, all men between 19 and 45 years old were required to serve in their military for nine months. But if you move out of Greece and have citizenship in another country, you're only required to serve three months. So even though Giannis and his brother were professional athletes, they needed to join the military. And well, the two boys enlisted and made sure they handled all their duties before returning for the next season. But hey, after all, it's the law. What if I told you Giannis's career was nearly ruined by a psychotic fan? Yeah, one fan spent years watching Giannis, and despite seeing him go from a kid to one of the best players in the NBA, secretly, this fan knew what Giannis was doing behind the scenes. And one day, this dude had enough. I, I wrote a letter to Adam, the commissioner, and said, please, just take him out of the NBA. This guy will ruin it. This guy is boring as hell. Look at this dude. He really went on live TV and tried to criticize how Giannis plays as if he could do better. Just look at Giannis, man. There's no way anybody can stop this. Not this fan, not the commissioner, not even God. Because the hidden meaning of Giannis' name predicted his entire life. Nowadays, you know this man is one of two names. Giannis Antetokounmpo or the Greek freak. But what if I told you that ain't actually who he is? As a kid, he grew up using his Nigerian name. Giannis Adetokounmpo, and while living in Greece, he spent his entire life trying to officially gain Greek citizenship. So in 2013, when it was finally granted, the Greek translation changed the spelling of his name from Adetokounmpo to Antetokounmpo. But that name change completely covered up who Giannis was destined to be. 
The meaning behind his birth name, Adedekumbo, means the king from across the seas. And an NBA legend, Akeem Olajuwon, said it can also mean the crown has returned from overseas. So when you think about it, Giannis not only traveled overseas to play in the NBA, he became a king of the league. And yet, that's nothing compared to the time Kobe Bryant completely changed Giannis' life. In 2018, Giannis' career completely took off. He had one of his best seasons and turned himself into a superstar. But failing to win MVP and only carrying his team to the seventh seed, Giannis knew he had to take his game to another level. And that's when he made a phone call that would change his life forever. The two agreed to a private workout, and Kobe instantly hopped on a flight. Giannis made sure he beat Kobe to the gym and was there hours early getting extra reps in. But as soon as Kobe showed up, Giannis was ready to learn from a legend. I've never told nobody this. I was there three hours before him. The workout was great. He made me make 350 or 400 shots, but they were all the same shots. And he told me, make 20. Use your full work when you shoot raise up high and make 20. It was amazing. It was amazing working out with Kobe. Now that might not seem that crazy, but Kobe's advice stuck with Giannis forever. Immediately after their workout, Giannis dedicated everything to training. The man literally went viral just from posting a pic of his progress. And that was just the beginning. Throughout the season, Giannis' stats soared to a new career high. And eventually, he carried the Bucks to the number one seed. But once Kobe saw Giannis win his first ever MVP award, Kobe just had to give him an even harder challenge. Winning a championship. At this point, Giannis was giving his all just to make Kobe proud. But then, out of nowhere, Kobe was gone. And this completely devastated Giannis. Cause even though Giannis was about to win his second MVP in a row, just knowing Kobe wouldn't be there to see it was heartbreaking. So Giannis knew there was only one thing he could do. When Giannis came face to face with the Suns in the NBA Finals, nobody knew this, but to Giannis, this series was for Kobe. Throughout those games, all Giannis could think about was Kobe's challenge. And as the games got fierce, Giannis and the Bucks went down 0-2. But there was no way Giannis could let Kobe down. So he channeled his inner Mamba mentality and put the Bucks on his back, winning the next three. And when everything came down to game six, Giannis stepped out thinking, what would Kobe do? And right from the jump, you could tell it was more than just Giannis out there. As Mikhail Bridges running the floor, shot blocked by Antetokounmpo, the spin move, the finish, Giannis does it again. Middleton inside, nice entry pass, and the slam from Antetokounmpo, puts up the one-hander, shot is good, does it again, it's over. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions once again. Giannis came out and had one of the most legendary performances in NBA history. He dropped 50 points and carried his team to the championship. But it's what Giannis admitted after the game that made this moment legendary. He made me believe Kobe Bryant thinks I can, I can do this. I can play in the higher level and lead my team and win an MVP. I had to do it. Damn, Kobe would be proud. And you want to know another player he'd be proud of? Jimmy Butler. Because he went from being homeless to an NBA star. And I know you want to hear more about that. So click this video right here.